me to understand that I could actually sue the state of Arkansas, right? With charges against the state of Arkansas for a human right abuse, right? You know, you know that, that, that because of their lack of their systematic racism, their anchor, their anchored belief in white supremacy over all things, that they decided that they could treat black people as animals and did. So that the state itself did not live up to its responsibility to its citizens. My grandfather attempted to sue. It didn't go very far. I think that now I might just have the muscle, the understanding, the creative ingenuity to figure out ways to get to the state of Arkansas and to use this work as a weapon and as an aid in establishing my claim. <laughs> Mr. Weems seems to think a little too much of himself. Right? He seems to think that, you know, what, you know. So, so therefore, um, my, uh, my uh, determination to figure out in a very innovative ways to sort of bring this to a sort of closure for myself and for my family to the extent that we can, we can have that, right? That we know that there are actions that can be taken. And if nothing else, uh, uh, the state can be called on the carpet. You're simply using it to do that because there's a the larger story of reparation is connected to this story, right? Which is not something that I really also thought about for a very long time, right? Is it possible to have reparation? And so I'm beginning to understand Again, this work is bringing me to that understanding that I had something that I had to personally go through that we deserve reparation. We deserve it. And certainly my grandfather deserved um, uh, uh, restitution for uh, the forced migration uh, and the, 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 the forced separation from his family. My father basically never saw his father again. 